What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're gonna check out actually a pretty surprising game. This wasn't even on my radar. Like, I didn't even know that this existed, but if you're a fan of, like, Skull the Hero Slayer, Astral Ascent is kind of targeting that same rogue legacy, I guess, archetype of gamer. Like, people that enjoy platforming roguelites. And this game is actually pretty well fantastically animated. This is a really good looking game. It plays pretty smoothly too, while still kind of adhering to the core gameplay standards that are set up by games like Skull the Hero Slayer and Rogue Legacy. Uh, it's a game where you're going to be working your way through a procedural dungeon, you're going to be killing off lots of monsters, you're going to be picking up items. Uh, one way that this game differs though is that you've got like these combos, so at the end of the day this is really kind of a martial arts game. And so, you have these combo finishers that are basically magic spells, and you've got like three or four of them, and every single one of those can be fitted in with a different combo finisher, and then each of the combo finishers can be slotted in with a number of mods, and things that like make the attack different and function differently, meaning that you can end up with some fairly customized characters on a run that are really pushing towards certain strategies for victory. So anyways, without further ado, we're going to jump on in. We're going to spend about 25 minutes with the game and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on if after watching this you wanted to get it for yourself I have a link for you down below that's going to be next to my Twitter my Twitch and my Discord which is a super rad place where I would love to be your host so anyways let's dive straight on in and let's get this thing moving Astral Ascent my mouse is on screen right now. I am playing with a controller. I am pleased to say that the keyboard controls are good. The only reason I'm not using the keyboard controls, uh, so keyboard controls are WASD spacebar and your mouse, which I'm actually 100% for. I think that's great. Uh, the only thing that made me swap on over is that your dodge key is on Q, which means that like while you're aerialing and stuff, it can sometimes be difficult to hit the Q button while in motion to dash through an attack or whatever. So I am playing with an Xbox controller right now, but I am very, very pleased to report that the keyboard controls are not that bad. They're about as good as they can be for kind of a PC game that's based around platform brawling. Uh, so anyways, we've got a bunch of people over here. We've got a vendor. We've got people we can talk to. Look at that run animation. Doesn't that look great? And then you've got like this little attack combo right here. It just, it looks fantastic, man. It just makes you want to play the game more. Just great. It's got kind of a Prince of Persia low-poly aesthetic. It's not even low-poly. I don't even know what to call it. I guess low contour since it's in 2D. I'm not really entirely too sure, but it uses all solid shapes and whatnot. It just works really well for me. Uh, I'm playing the martial arts character right now. I literally have no idea what his name is. Uh, there's another character over here. As far as I know, there's four characters available. However, I haven't tracked down the other two inside this little town area. But this is like the central area that you come back to whenever you live, die, lose. Is she one of the characters? She kind of looks like one of the characters. Maybe she unlocks later. Who are you? About time to head out, isn't it? Remember to collect stories for me. We yallies love stories. I don't even know what a yally is, but you know what, man? I'm going to bring back so many stories, you're going to write yourself a book. You're going to be a legend out here for your book writing skills off of my labor. Let's go on into the dungeon and see if we can smack up some bad guys. Fly me away, giant... Wasn't that animation fantastic? Like, I played this game for all of 10 minutes before I was like, yep, I got to do a video on this, man. It just... It looks, it feels, it plays. Everything is just too smooth about it, dude. Like... Like games, it should be a crime for a game to be this well animated because you spend all your time looking at it and not playing it. Energy projectiles jumps and casts three projectiles in diagonals. And so this is going to be one of the combo abilities. Uh, basically, if we're going through the UI right now, top left-hand corner of the screen, you got yourself your health bar. Underneath that is how much mana we have inside those little blue rectangles. Uh, the mana correlates to the bottom left, which is your combo finishers. You need to have enough mana in order to be able to cast them. On our left trigger, we've got kind of that gravity well attack that we can throw out right there. Our right trigger, I don't know what we have rocking on our right trigger right there. Maybe it's just not charged up. And then there's going to be three little pips next to that. Those are spots for relics that are going to kind of wildly change the way that your character plays. At the bottom of the screen, that's going to be this game's roguelite meta currency. You pick up kind of these red rubies. When you take them back, you spend them on stuff. This is the demo for the game that they're using to promote their Kickstarter right now. So if after watching this, you wanted to support the game, you can absolutely go do that. I'll have that kind of included down there. But there you go. We've swapped out one of our combos. Now, your combos are kind of interesting. In the bottom left, what you'll notice is they rotate after I use them. You see that right there? So now we're on this right here. And you can actually kind of spam your way through them if you're trying to get to the power that you're trying to get to. We recover our mana by landing combo hits, just like so. And then, of course, oh, I remember what right trigger is. Right trigger is our heal. So as we kill enemies, we get ourselves kind of an Estus flask that fills up. And as the Estus 
fills up, you're going to be able to use that to heal yourself. Any bad guys around over here? There's one right there. Let's go. Oh, and he's throwing out all kinds of little mushroom projectiles. I, in general in life, try to keep mushroom projectiles from hitting me in the face, the eyes, whatever. You know, if you want to hit me in the boob or something with, like, a mushroom projectile, fair enough. Everybody got to make money on the internet. Oh, I didn't realize what combo attack I had up. Yeah, that little green shard right there. If you look down, our right trigger now filled up. So that's our Estus Flask. Uh, this is the end of the level right here. Very, very quick little warm-up. We can either take a fight next... Or we can take an exploration room with three difficulty. This one right here is going to give us a gambit. So the gambit is one of the things that you can apply. Basically, it's a mod for one of your abilities. And then the spell is what we just picked up previously on this level. I think I'm going to take the spell, so let's go ahead and dive on into this portal right here. All right, so diving straight on in. A couple little enemies over here, although nothing to worry about. That guy's going to try and shoot me, and I was totally wrong about him being nothing to worry about. There was nowhere for me to go right there. Nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. I actually, yeah, I was going to say, like, I want to get up there, but I think we're going to have to climb up and over the top like this. Everything is kind of vaultable in this game, so long as it has, like, a rocky, craggy thing on the left-hand side of it. This does not have the craggy, so it's smooth. We're not allowed to do that. However, we got a mana boost right here for one of our relics, so yeah, let's take that real quick. Mana boost! Alright, so our mana has been increased. Oh, there's rocky, craggy things right there. There we go. Luckily, the items that the enemies drop do not disappear. They stay there in perpetuity. So that's perfectly... What is that thing right there? What is that? Oh, there's secrets. Hold on. There's secrety secrets. Give me a second. Ooh, I was not aware that there was secrets. So we can get max life, we can get damage, or we can get mana. I'm going to go for damage, I guess. I'm a very offensive guy when I play video games. Every single time I'm offered an offensive option, I bring that up when I'm playing games. Probably ad nauseum. You guys are probably tired of hearing it. That's not going to hit. Oh, it did hit. Very nice. The explosion got him. Sweet. What is this right here? A thunder orb. Okay. Goes forward and damages an enemy every one second. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's take it. Like I want to show you guys as many of the options that we can possibly get out. Nice, dude. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like that spell from Diablo 3 that the wizard has, where it's like the orb or whatever. I actually very much want to use it on somebody, but I'm not sure we're in a position to do so just yet. You, sir, if you could stop. I love the way that hits cancel out enemies' attacks. That's really, really great. It sort of encourages the player to be aggressive, even in the face of sort of an enemy charging or getting ready to attack. I want to use that lightning orb. Let's get that into the proper slot for right now. I think we've got our projectile up next. Like our little diagonal throw. There we go. And now we've got our orb. And then I'm going to try to use the orb on something. What is that? There's like a little shimmering over here. Zim Zim's memory fragment. All right. I don't know what that did for me, but I love the way the UI pops on and it slides on. And frankly, everything in this game feels very much for a Kickstarter demo. Normally, I don't cover Kickstarter stuff as a general rule. I've done been burnt too many times in the past and been left holding the bag. However, this is a remarkably well put together Kickstarter demo just from like the 20 or 30 minutes that I've played so far. The Loaded Knuckle. Well, we got to we got to have that, dude. Let's get Loaded Knuckle out here. Yeah, we'll swap that on in. I, like, I, I just don't want to use the default Breath of Fire for too long. What does this do? All right, so Loaded Knuckle. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, it comes with a back dash, too. That's pretty rad, man. All right, so what does this do right here? We got Crystal Rewards, and we got basically the same room on both sides. So we'll go ahead and just, like, pick one at random. I'm going to go with the left-hand path because I'm edgy like that. And then we'll see if we can get ourselves a little bit of currency up inside of here. Another Zim Zim. Oh, Sora's Fragment. Okay, so that's for a different character. Um, what's happening in here? Oh, it's like a battle brawl room. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys stop that. I'm going to inflame you because I can. Mm, you guys are unfortunately very aerial. I don't really like this. Ooh, almost got hit right there. I almost took that one straight to the head. And I'm trying not to take hits to the head. There we go. We knocked out a couple of them. Grab a couple more gems. I'm going in. There we go. Sometimes you just got to get aggressive. I was waiting to see how low he was going to swing down when he blocked. Can I break this or anything to get the crystals out of it? Okay, it looks like I cannot. We've got three little hashed rectangles up next to our mana. And I'm not exactly sure what that does. 
but I am interested in finding out. So target vulnerability receives more damage from your attacks. Nice. Okay. So this adds vulnerability to, like, all of our attacks. So we've got a mana bonus right now, and we've got a bit of a debuff. That should be nice, because I would like my damage to be a bit higher. There's our crystal reward right there. we got seven or eight of them. Basically, like, a quarter more than we already had. What is this? I've never seen this before. A merchant room. Oh, it's not a meta currency. Maybe I spend the crystals on just stuff in the run. So we got a fight room with a gambit. We've got an exploration with a gambit. And then we've got a merchant room. Let's go to the merchant room, just in the off chance that there's any characters or anything that we can unlock through there. I might be being a little bit optimistic with that assumption, but, you know... Good soundtrack, too. Who's this big guy? All right, so we've got Ice Thrower. We've got three freeze attacks on an enemy with high chances. We've got toss eight or 25% for additional damage on enemy hit if enemy life is full, so it throws fireballs. And then over here, we got 50% more damage on enemy hit if player life is half or less. I do like activated options like that, so I think I'm going to take it. I will put that on my Thunder Orb. Sounds good. Yeah, throw it on the Thunder Orb. Very nice. I like that it gives you a confirmation. Oh, we can reset the altar choices, too, if we have 20 bucks. Unfortunately, I'm all tapped out for right now. I don't have any money left. Love the kind of whimsical tune they've got rocking right now. Let's see. We've got a spell reward, and we've got a gambit. I'm going to go with the gambit because I feel like we're full out on spells right now, so I want to mod the stuff that I have to make it a little bit more powerful as we get deeper down into the dungeon. Deep in the dungeon. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Ooh, it juggled him up into the air. I definitely like that. That was sick. Oh, he rolls. Okay. So he's got a little bit of the Limp biscuit running through him. I feel like I dodged that, but you know what? I'm not going to argue too hard. I'm going to need a few of these enemies to, like, get gone. There we go. Put out the Thunder Orb. Perfect. Um, I'm going to heal up real quick so that I'm not wasting all this extra life energy that I'm pulling out of enemies. Oh, okay. I got juggled right there. That's no fun. Let's try out this punch attack. There we go. Okay, so you can't cancel that one right there. I got aggressive in the hopes that maybe I could cancel out his little attack. But I don't think it... Ooh, these guys got a bit of a chin on them. These guys are a lot tougher than the other ones. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather not. What does my left trigger do here? Looks like it just freezes them in place. I was kind of hoping it would deal some damage, but that's okay. It's like a black hole. Gotcha. Oh, nice. It's another, like, healing thing. Sweet, dude. Okay, we're not totally full up yet, but that at least filled out our healing crystal a little bit further. What did we get for the gambit over here? We got 1% life steal of damage dealt on enemy if hit, or enemy hit if enemy has no effect stacks. Okay. All right. 1% life still doesn't feel like a lot when most of my attacks seem to be doing like 20% damage, but it's something. All right. We can't complain about a good thing. I can try, but, you know, people are going to think that I'm like petty or lame. All right. So let's go through this portal right here because I want to continue stacking gambits now. I want to have like some attacks that are good for getting my health back up. I want to have some attacks that are just pure deeps. Yeah, let's just get you taken care of before you start rolling, 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 rolling what? Uh, I've got them exactly where I want them to be. Unfortunately, this guy is throwing out some kind of landminey things. All right, we'll put it through him. Right there, I would like to see that attack impact with the wall rather than going through it. It's just like one of those little things. It's not like a massively huge deal, but it is a thing that I'd like to see changed. Since the game does have such a wonderful sense of kind of impact and attack and sort of motion and everything else. I think this is a really good time to throw out my lightning thingy. Yeah, I'd rather not get butt stomped right now. I prefer not to. Oh my god, he back. Okay. We'll go back over here and see if I can finish you off. He's going to roll right after he does that. Ah, I walked right into it, man. I walked right into it. All right, let's give him the solid elbow right there. Feed them bees on him, dude. All right, vulnerability, attack, gambit. Oh, there's something else up there, though. Well, let's get the gambit first. Let's see here. So that's got vulnerability. We already have vulnerability. Does it stack? And we have, like, double vulnerability? I don't know. 
this might be sort of a useless acquisition, but we got nothing else to go in the slot. So for the time being, I think that it might be worth it just to... Oh, that thing can be damaged. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, here. You come live down in the hole with me. I'm going to light you on fire real fast. Trust me, it's a friendship fire. This does not mean that I dislike you as a human being or who you are or, you know, a creature or whatever it is that you are. I mean, honestly, you seem kind of like a weaponized weed, in all honesty. There we go. Let me get that heal. Oh, I can't get back up there. Well, shoot. I should have thought about jumping over the top. It looks like we just bypassed a secret area without even thinking about it. And I say we because I have to include you in my dumb decisions because this is an internet video, okay? I can't be the dumb guy alone. That was actually a really nice setup. Listen, man. You got a little too much ammo in your little pea shooter right there, alright? I'm gonna need you to slow down. Just accept that some situations are not primed for ballistic infusion. I know this is probably anathema to say as an American, but some situations do not require gunfire. All right, so we'll throw that in right there. And what is this? What'd you give me? Come on, give me something good. Add poison to your attacks. Yeah, let's have a poisoned elbow, dude. It's just like it's not even poison. We just don't wash our elbow, and then we consistently just hit people with it. And that's pretty much it. It's got the associated detritus and spittle and sweat of just a thousand vanquished foes on my elbow. And it all blends together into sort of like a Komodo dragon-like toxin that sinks into the blood. I don't think we're much longer for this world. Our HP is looking really, really bad right now. It could be better. I would prefer that it be better. Unfortunately, nay, tis not. Is this a boss room, dude? Don't tell me this is a boss room. This is starting to get the feeling of a boss room. It's a boss room. I knew. Oh, it's a challenge room. Okay, I can live with that. So he rolls after he gets done with that. The aerial enemies are kind of a problem. There we go. Give him the poison. Poison seems to do, like, okay-ish. Oh, my. Okay, lots of things are happening. I am rapidly becoming stressed. I've got my flamethrower ready to rock, so let's flamethrower that dude. Unfortunately, no burn effect or anything on my flamethrower, but I do have that right there, which I think will finish this off rather nicely. I only have one healing crystal left for right now. Now that I've memorized his attack pattern, I'm not as worried about him. Oh, the lightning ball bounces off the wall. That's actually an interesting attribute about that attack to probably store away in your memory. Uh, there's a big old pile of crystals. Loverly. And then what do we have over here? We got another crystal room, and we've got a challenge room. Let's do the challenge room, because if we die, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the in-between run progression is that they've implemented already for the Kickstarter demo. Uh, so I'm not worried about taking risks. I don't think we've met. I'm Kieran. I'm one of the Zodiacs, Virgo. Let's see what you're capable of. Your objective is simple. Destroy more targets than I do. A drunk Yali could understand the challenge. Let's start at once. Alright, I think she's going to go for that middle one right there. Oh, uh, did she get that one or did I get that one? Oh, I don't think I hit hard enough, dude. It takes me a lot longer to get it destroyed than it does for her. I just got to stop feeding targets to her. Oh, dude, she keeps kill stealing, man. I am deeply upset about this kill steal. There's one for me. Ah, uh, I don't know if she got that one or if I got that one. All right, there's one for me. There's one for me. There's one for me. I kill stole that one, so I feel pretty good about it. Man, that was actually, she was moving out there. She was moving real, real quick. And then she kill steals you too. So you kind of like got to focus on not setting her up by leaving anything low health. You deserve a reward for your skills. Is it a rad reward? Like it is a straight out of the 90s wearing Ray-Bans reward? Woohoo! I got a summon? What does a summon do? How do I summon Virgo? I want to summon Virgo right now. I just want to see what it do. Oh, there's a new meter over on the left. Okay, so apparently we can be infused with kind of like the power of the god, I guess, and we can build up favor and then summon her to like vanquish it, do a screen wipe or something. I guess we'll find out. I have no idea how to trigger that ability, so they're going to have to tell me once it comes up. 
Oh, he's playing music. So wait, why are we fighting the musician? Oof. All right. I kind of need, I love the way the attacks juggle the enemy. It's so satisfying in kind of a Dragon Ball Z kind of way. Yeah, put that out right there and just kind of see who we fish out with that hit. I guess I can heal myself a little bit. I don't have like a full crystal. Like I would rather have a full crystal, but my crystal is very, very empty right now. Finish him off with that big knee right there. I like that. Give him that Muay Thai knee. We got a lot of crystals. I should probably find something to spend them on. If we got like a vendor room over here, I'm gonna take a chance on that just in case there's a healing item or something inside of here, just to keep us going a little bit further on into the game. I do not want to die before I figure out how to summon my, you know, my, what does this do? 10 added, 10 added all effects stacks on enemy with very low chances. Okay. So we'd want to put that on like poison or something if I'm thinking how that works right. What is this right here? Energy projectiles. We already have that. 75% damage if player health is low. We'll take that because player health is low. Let me tell you what. Player health real, real low right now. Uh, we'll go for... Oh, I've noticed they have differing amounts of stacks too. So apparently my lightning ball is going to be like devastating right now. So I guess there's upgraded copies as well. So you can get the same ability. But, so let's take a look right here. Right? I'm spending that even though I'm probably not going to equip this. We take a look at it. We already have energy projectiles right there. But they have a differing amount of slots unlocked. So I'm sort of curious. Like I, I think this one is like the same quality. But I wonder if you can get a higher quality version of the same thing that has more slots available. Uh, we can't take that right now. Ooh, healing, 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 healing. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 I need some more. Gimme, 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 and don't ask what for. All right, let's, so we'll go, there's a bench over here. It looks like I can, I can sit ponderously on the bench. Oh, that was so much healing, dude. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I'll take it. Ooh, is this the boss room? Oh, no, dude. Well, uh, you know, with how fantastically animated this game has been so far, I'm not going to say, oh, no. I'm going to say, oh, yeah, because I actually want to see this boss. Where's he at? Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Okay. Giant JRPG guy with giant sword. Gotcha. I'm Taurus, one of the Zodiacs. Prepare your weapon. Name's Karen. Gotta say, love your style. And I like yours. Hey, Virgo, nice for you to join us. Make sure to give your very best, my friend. Let's do this. I'm gonna, like, take a minute and sort of figure out... Oh, he's swinging. Okay, all right. Ow! Does my black hole work on him? I don't think my black hole works. But now the ground is on fire. Okay, all right. I'm kind of getting a feel. Yeah, I'm trying to get a feel for like his attack animations. Okay, big two out right there. Go ahead and give him a little bit more right there. Oh, he's got a firearm. Okay, but not like the firearm that one would expect. Oh, I gotta, I gotta juggle in between these. I see how this works. Okay. All right. That's creative. I like it. Oh, he turns around mid-animation, too. I'm going to give him a little bit of that fire, though. Yeah, now that I've seen what he does, I'm not as like... Oh, there's fire. I forgot he puts fire behind him right there, but we did good. Like, for a first attempt against a boss you're not familiar with, I feel like that was okay. Like, I was definitely starting to get the swing of it. So it looks like we've got some stuff we just unlocked. I don't know exactly. Oh, yeah, it gave us, like, some little orby things. Okay, well, back to town we go. There's no disgrace in being defeated by a god, man. That's all that I'm saying. So we've got new elements that have been added on into the garden where we started on out. That's good. I was hoping they would include some of the progression so people can see what's going on. Clearly this game has had a lot of thought and a lot of work put into it. 
If you want to get stronger, talk to Zimzim. Zim. Her personality is oppressing, but her skills are invaluable. All right, well, let's go talk to Zimzim, Zim, man. Where's the uh, Where's the old Zimmerinos at? Zimmerinos is over there. Cool. Let's go talk to Zimzim. Zim. I'm sure Orton sent you, didn't she? My job here is easy. I use my plants to make you stronger. Sounds great, as long as I can eat it. For the love of Rose, Kieran, stop thinking with your stomach. All right, well, we can toughen up right here so we can increase our maximum life. Very, very nice. Okay, all right. That's pretty rad, dude. I'm actually pretty stoked about this title. Normally, I'm really, really on the fence about Kickstarter products, but this game, thus far, I can really see no major flaws. The animation is absolutely breathtaking. The pixel art is fantastic. I love the style that they've gone with. I, I love the movement of the characters and the way that you skid, and you kind of, like, carry your weight. I love the weight of the attacks, the thump of them. I like the customizability of the attacks. The UI is presentable and like out of the way, but at the same time there, uh, we take a look at the options and it looks like we've got a bunch of stuff. So low life feedback activated, next spell icon, that's fine. You can change the text display speed depending on your reading speed or whether you like to go slower. You can get rid of the screen shake, which is great. You can turn on and off the vibration. As far as language that's available right now, it looks like English is the only one that's up for the moment, uh, but I'm sure there'll be more added. We've got controls over here. They are re-key bindable, so that's also fantastic. You love to see it. Volume mix is the standard fare. And then over here inside the graphics menu, for right now, a little bit limited on what you can do with it. But then again, it's a 2D game made out of pixel art. So really, like, how many volumetric effects and whatnot could there be to fiddle with? Uh, I'm enamored with this one. I think it's a pretty cool looking game. It's called Astral Ascent. And if you're into Rogue Legacy, you're into things like Skull the Hero Slayer, you're into sort of that genre of platforming Metroidvania roguelites, I think this one seems like a good acquisition. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll be back with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.